thought I'd just show you this radiator cover I made for a friend of mine. Started off with some 18mm MDF. Uh, I had cutting strips from B&Q just to make it a bit easy for transport. So I'm just measuring the length now. I'm cutting it on the miter saw. I'll put all the measurements at the end of the video of what I used. That's the three vertical sections now for the front. Cut them down on the table saw. I had to do them pieces because the, the shed doesn't work here big enough to do the long length. I'm just measuring up from the bottom now from the, the cold air intake at the front. Then I did the same at the top, which is a bit smaller for the hot air come out. Like I say, I'll do the, the, the measurements and dimensions after. Just drawing a line across there. Just cutting the, the same process for the horizontal pieces now. Same process, cut on the mitre saw. Then narrow them down on the table saw. And that's the sections there shown in green, four sections. What I'm doing here, just making a bit of a jig on the bench, I need to cut the two grooves at the front of the piece. So I'm just clamping the piece down both sides. And the piece there, shown with the arrow, is actually two pieces of MDF. So the router will run against that with a cove bit just to create the groove, which I'll show you now. What I should have done, I should have put a stop block each side so the router runs up to it instead of trying to get it up to the line, but I still manage that, I just had to do a bit of tweaking with it. So I'm just running the router now along that the double piece at the back as shown, and that'll create the groove now. But if I put a stop block in both ends, I could have, could have done it a lot easier, but I managed it okay though. A little bit of tweaking. So run that all the way down to the line now. That's that done. Flipped it round now, it did exactly the same the other side, clamped it down. And this will give me an identical line each side basically. Exactly the same as before. That's that done. I did that three times for the three vertical pieces. And that's them shown there in green. That's them done. Right, what I'm doing now, I'm clamping the horizontal pieces down and using a pocket hole jig, creating pocket holes at the end so I can attach them the vertical sections. The clamp I used there wasn't that strong enough, didn't give enough pressure really, so I had to keep holding it. So it was better with the metal clamp. On this one I think it moved a little bit on this one, yeah. Just couldn't get enough clamping force on it. So it did two pocket holes each side. And I did that on all four pieces. Right, I'm going to attach them now to the vertical pieces. 
Let's put in some glue on the end. Just using a brush to brush the glue in, but the brush was hard for some reason, but he left it go hard. So plenty of glue on there. And pushing it up to the line now where I marked earlier, just checking it now with the square, make sure the distance is right. And that's in green there, which is uh, which is a piece it's, it's gonna make. Just putting the screws now what come with the pocket old jig. Double checking it there. That's it. Stand it over, just checking the joint. It's all got to be sanded anyway, the joints, but creates a good uh, a good join really. Just doing the centre section now as shown in green. Now the, the bottom left hand section. Exactly the same procedure everyone is. And the other side now, I'm turning it round, doing the top section. Really does pull it, pull it tight. This does. I will do a separate video on that uh, on the pocket jig, just to show you how it works and that. That's all done now. Just flipping the front frame over now. Now using a router now with the a rounding over bit, I'm just going round over every bit of that front section, apart from the edge, the left and right edge. It just creates a rounding over effect all over. It's quite messy. This is if you haven't got a uh, dust extraction, but it is worth it. see it there what it uh, what it gives you depending what bit you put in this is just the cheap router from Ald it's quite good really I think it's only 30 odd pound so at the bottom section as well so anywhere basically on the front apart from the edge where it meets the sides I didn't do exactly the same all over Very easy to use this router as it doesn't like big and bulky. Very easy. Over. Just giving it a quick sand now, mainly on the joints really, to get rid of the glue and that. The friend who it's going to, he's a painting decorator, so he'll do all the priming and painting and that. Now with another piece, now I'm just measuring for the sides. Like I say, I'll put the measurements up after what I actually used, depending on what radiator you need. So two same measurements, both sides, just squaring them off. Same as before to cut it on the mitre saw, and that's the side there, and that's the other side. Same as the face frame, now I'm just rounding off uh, the edge. I did this both sides, not the back, the both sides at the front, like top and bottom of it. Exactly the same as before. What I'm doing now, I'm just uh, measuring the cutout for a skating board. This will vary depending on what skating you use. Just squaring that off. I'm just using a washer there just to create the round uh, edge. That's that done. Just cutting it out with a jigsaw. Just got a bit of foam insulation there underneath, stop it hitting the bench. That's cutting it out. The bit was a bit big there, it wouldn't uh, turn very good, it was a bit too thick. 
I did it okay. Now I'm just uh, with a pocket hole jig again. I put three on each side. No, it's uh, just the top, sorry, three at the top. It's a good, uh, a good join, really. That does, and that's the left and right there, all done. Now I forgot to do the sides to the with the pocket hole, so I'm just doing them now on the face frame. I'll put five on there each side. That's them done. What I'm doing now. I've got some plywood. I think it's about nine mil. I'm just putting that under the bench. And I can put the side on then, and that'll give me like a bit of a, a bit of a reveal at the front. I can say it then. So just putting some glue on. All over. I'm rubbing it in with my hard brush again. Now using the pocket hole screws now to secure it. Notice now it's at a 90 degree angle, set a flat like before, but it still works exactly the same. It's quite a brilliant uh, bit of kit, really. That's them done. Really pulls it in tight. That is all the face frame and sides done on that now. It looks a bit damp because I had a damp cloth just for wipe uh, some of the dust off. Right, I'm putting some glue on the top now all over. And I'm gluing it to the top. The top exactly same as did the sides, all the way around it over all the way around just placing on top there I don't know on God's earth how I level that up I don't know but that's it it's level now just checking the distance each, each side of it that's the same securing it now with the screws like before is that side done the screws they were good, them screws were, they had a, got a square edge, but uh, the bit, the bit uh, took a bit of time to come out. Just had to adjust that front bit there. That's that all done now, that's the majority of it made now. That's it done there. You see the air gap at the bottom, in the hot air should come out the top. Right now we've got some uh, the screening now, which is like a three mil hardboard. Just drawing round it now. When I got it equal, want it like want it look equal both sides. Just putting plenty of glue on now. Took ages that glue come out. That done. Just placing the board back on, and also used for secure. It was the uh, just the staples are absolutely fine. Just did a load of staples in it, all over. Went through dead easy. I could have reset that if I wanted, but I thought it looked fine with the how it was, and that's all done. Well that's it, uh, that's it installed, just got me painting, now it's the I'll do, I uh, hope you enjoyed it, I was about, I didn't take into account the beading on the floor, so I was about 5mm too big, I just, I, she said just take a little bit out the top, so it's just notched at the top by the architrave, so apart from that it's uh, absolutely fine, so I'll put the, the dimensions at the end of this video, what I used, and please like and subscribe if you like it, and uh, if, if you don't, put a thumbs down and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.